What's the name of this color? Calisto green. Jeez, I'm not going to try to pronounce it. I'll mess it up, but it's cool. Check out the interior of this model with the red accents. Everything's got like an LCD to it. Love the Alcantara and the red stitching all throughout the Remac seats and the carbon fiber exposed everywhere. This thing looks unreal, honestly. The quality that I see here, it looks like a proper, proper hypercar. Like, like they've been building them for a long time. Uh, backing up, love the carbon fiber raw finish. It is just insane. All right, here we have the all new 992 GT3 RS. Now, if you've seen our previous video, we went over all of the news regarding this car and seeing it in person, I am absolutely hooked on it. I totally want to get it. I'm already calling tons of contacts I have in dealerships to try to get an allocation. It's gonna be very hard to do, but hey, if we've achieved these other cars on the channel, I think we can try to find a way to get this new GT3 RS. The arrow with it, I love looking right Right in here behind the front tires, look how it's completely opened up with these floating vents right here out back. Just like my 600LT McLaren with those floating blades on either side. The downforce with this all new 992 GT3 RS is just insane. Fully adjustable for the racetracks. So depending on which track you can go on, see this top part of the back uh, spoiler, the, the swan neck style wing, um, where this Porsche, that can shift to lower the drag over the top of the vehicle for straightaways. So your acceleration is um, unhindered by the aerodynamic downforce and drag. With all that being said, I honestly think that this is gonna be the ultimate GT3 or a 911 out there because it's got the natural aspirated flat six with a 9,000 RPM red line, tons of aero, 335s out back. And these are Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s. And I believe this has got the magnesium wheels, maybe, center locking cap Caps, which are pretty hard to maintain at the track though, but, but they're really cool. And the latest gen of carbon ceramic brakes. I am such a big fan of this car right here. You can see like little rocks and pieces of rubber. Hopefully from the factory is PPF. It looks like it is some factory PPF applied which is really cool to see. You can see a real cool up close angle of this rear spoiler. So you see where the green accents are. I think those, those are the actuators that can um, pull and adjust the rear spoiler to change its aerodynamic effect. Check out this angle right way back here. Honestly, this, this rear spoiler, this aero setup, it could be the dream setup for the racetrack. You see how the tires are sticking out almost with the wide body effect. Um, it's going to be interesting seeing how it stacks up in terms of um, track time performance, how much faster it really is than a standard 992 GT3. It looks like it's going to be you know, significantly faster because of all the aerodynamics, because that's basically what this whole car is, right? 992 GT3, but brought to the next level in terms of aero. Look at that little accent right there. It says wingman out back. Do you see that? All together, looking at it, I'll keep you guys posted on our order for this GT3. RS. Here's the main thing I want to highlight with the 992 GT3 RS. If you are a track day goer, this is going to, uh, I think, be the best bet for you because everything in terms of the race car feels like it's been translated onto this street car. Not only do you have cup car level of aero, and also a really insane new S-duct design with the front hood, whereas it's not only channeling air over the front end to give you more downforce, but also with these blades and the sides, it's actually uh, changing the trajectory of the air towards the sides. And all the way to the roof line, you see these, these uh, side fins on either side? That all helps to distribute the air to get like a maybe a suction cup effect, you can say, which is very similar to the underbody strakes that you have underneath, if we can get a good shot of it. Maybe we can't, but do you see any underbody strikes with it? What are they, Carl? 
fanciness. Okay, thoughts, thoughts on that new GT3 RS. I love it, I love it. We're gonna try to get one, I'm a track guy. <laughs> Having the 600 LT and the, um, the new Z07, Z06 Corvette, they, it's gonna be the ultimate garage combo. Seeing all the aerodynamics on this GT3 RS, if you haven't seen our full engineering breakdown video, make sure to check it out. We go, we go deep, deep, dive deep in what makes this vehicle so special. And um, imagine a 992 GT3, but Porsche throwing everything that you'd want out of a race car into a street car. So you have a seven stage traction control system, fully adjustable suspension with the rebound, the dampening, you name it. You can adjust your car to each track you go to. Not only that, you have an active aero system that, that you can use to hit like a DRS button to lower the, um, the drag on straightaways to accelerate faster. It's why you can set up a 520 horsepower Porsche and be extremely fast in a straight line because you're able to minimize that drag. Drag slows you down. The downforce is gonna make this car corner extremely fast. We don't have to lose so much speed um, corner to corner. By maintaining that momentum, no need to accelerate as hard, right? There's no need to accelerate and pick up as much speed, right? Because you're not slowing down as much. So that is why I think this new 992 GT3 is going to be insane. I'm such a big fan. Naturally aspirated, 520 horsepower, 9,000 RPM, 3,200 pound curb weight. Hennessy's pulling out. Oh, there's actually four of them. Would you look at that? Isn't it funny seeing the Texas flag up there versus all the um, Italian brands and the British brands right way down there? The British flag. And here we are at the Acura booth with the Type S. It looks super surreal. I'm a big fan of the NSX Type S. Um, seeing it in person again is very exciting. Deliveries are you know, happening, which is so good to hear. 245, 35x19s up front. Also 305, 30x20s out back. Very good contact patch carbon fiber rear spoiler with the full carbon fiber engine appearance bay out back this thing is such a beast now tracking the standard nsx it felt really good i don't know why it gets a bad rap sometimes but i can see how you can make it more edgy um, and this is they've made it more edgy with this i love the diffuser down below it's finished in carbon fiber these huge exit vents on either side here's the deal i i'm a car enthusiast i i'm a proper enthusiast and seeing this brand new um car blows my mind just thinking about it. I want to keep all of you posted in our efforts to try to get an allocation for this new car. It'll be hard, but uh, we're going to stay determined. It'll probably come out, you know, about a year from now, maybe longer. I think it might be starting to like miss some, some rain or something. Oh my gosh, hopefully not. You can just fly in on your private helicopter over there, right? That's so cool. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button to help me out and subscribe for much more great content coming out your way. And while you do that, hit the notification bell so you're up to date on all the latest videos coming out. I'll see all of you in the next episode.